Hi, teacher. Good evening. Ah, uh, hello, uh, William. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, perfectly. No, no issues. No problems with uh, with the audio. Good evening. Ah, okay. Good evening. Good evening, William. What's up? How's it going to you? Mm, my day. It was very good. Very good to the work. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Perfect. Uh, Lee is joining at this moment. Let's see. We are going to give him a couple of minutes so he can activate the microphone in this moment. All right. We are, let's see, three. With me, we are three. Eli, hello, Eli. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Pretty good. How are you, Eli? What's up? Mm, How do you good, do? Teacher. Pretty good? Very good. All right. Excellent. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see. And the others? And your classmates? Maybe yeah. they are coming. Ya vienen. Maybe, right? Uh, the traffic. Yeah, the traffic. Yes. Good. Do you drive, guys? Do you drive? Do you drive a car when you come, uh, when you go to your house? Do you, where no. you live? No, no take I a bus. A... Ah, okay. You take, you take the bus. Okay. Yeah, the traffic, we know that every day is becoming more terrible. Yeah. <laughs> incredible. Where do you where where do you work, guys? Where do you work? What place? I work in San Juan Pico. Ah, kinda of far. And you and you commute to San Salvador to work. Mm -hmm. You go, you go to San Salvador. Or you don't travel. You don't travel from work? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's check. We are going to clarify something. We can use uh we can use travel, right? We sometimes use travel, but travel is not the correct verb. When you talk wow. about moving in the city, travel, no. Uh, no, it's not travel. Just let me uh, type the, the date, Wednesday, November. Uh, I, it said, yes. yes, okay. Travel. Wow. What is travel? To yeah. go abroad. To go abroad. To go out of the country. Travel is when you go out from, from El Salvador to Costa Rica, oh. to Guatemala, to Canada, the U.S., any part in the globe. Travel. But when you move in the city, you can use the verb commutes to move by car by bus etc but inside el salvador okay in the in the city that is the difference so you can use the verb commute commute did you know the verb? Ya sabía? No. 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 Okay, so you are going to use it correctly. Ahora lo va a usar bien. Guys, where do you commute from? From work and to the place where you live. Where do you commute from? From what place to which place? Desde donde? Affirmative sentence, please. From... 
subjects. I'm from commune. Mm. And you don't need I, from. You don't okay. need from. No from. I no commute. From. Correct. I commute in this, in after commute, yes. It's from. Oh, okay. Oh, I commute from. 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 Santa. Yeah. Any, Santa. Okay, the places. Que sal, que sal te peque, que sal te peque to, to San Juan Opico. To San Juan Opico. Okay. San Juan Opico. Okay. That's right? See? Yes. This yes, is yes. Right. The correct sentence the when correct. talking about moving in the city, in San Salvador. In the whole El Salvador, in Cabañas, in uh, Aguachapan, no, don't, no, doesn't matter, no importa. But when you use travel, that means to go out from El Salvador. Clear? Clear on that? It's clear. Okay, yeah. perfect. So, now use it. You can use it when talking about this. Cuando hable de, ah, de donde se mueve, etc., don't use travel. Use mm. commutes. Entonces, travel es como decir, yo voy a viajar a, a tal lugar, yo voy a viajar a, a otro departamento o a otro país, algo así. Yeah, mm -hmm. we use it, we use it normally. I travel every day to, uh, to La Unión from San Salvador. But travel in English, it means to go out from the country in English. Better use, mejor usar? Commute. Yes. That is not pretty common, but it's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go, let's go to the lesson. This is uh, only a tip about verbs. No problem. Okay. Let's see. You know the indications. You know that you can make questions. We can skip this part and the English skills. Okay, let's go to the lesson. Let's see. Ah, I like this topic. I love it. I like eating. Do you like food, guys? Do you eat daily? Do you eat daily? Do you eat daily? Huh? Do you eat? Yeah, yeah. Every day? Yes, of every day. Of course, we do it course, every day. Yeah. Okay, question, let me know. Maybe you have a recommendation to me when talking about food. What's your favorite restaurant that you love going to, guys? Any recommendation for me? In mm -hmm. there, there is a place and it's called Punta Brasas. Oh, okay. it's, a, it's a good place, good restaurant. All the, right. The food is delicious. You recommend it? A hundred percent? Yes. Or 90? Or 80 I, percent? <laughs> I recommend it. Uh -huh. Okay, you, I recommend it. You can say, puede decir. No, I recommend it to you. I recommend it to you, teacher. Go. Okay. Punta Brasa is the name, right? Punta Brasa. In Quetzaltepec. Okay. Ah, pero right. también hay en Encuentro Pico. Han abierto, no sé qué fue ahí. Oh, okay. All right. Get the name, get the name of the place, consigue el nombre, and I will search it on the web. Okay, good. Eli, what about you? Favorite restaurant ever for you? I don't have favorite restaurant. Okay, mm -hmm. but food? Mm -hmm. Favorite food at least? My favorite food is uh, 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 pasta. Yeah, lasagna. Mm. Eh, China. Food, China. Food, China or China? Ah, China is the country. 
Uh, when, you, when you talk about things related to the country, we use like the 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 con country the nationality Chinese mm, Chinese sorry Chinese correct. <laughs> ah, okay, I like Chinese food as well. Yes, okay. it's delicious. Yeah. Okay, it's delicious. Uh, Carlos, welcome Carlos to the class. We are talking about something delicious, food in restaurants. You have any preference about restaurants, Carlos? Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Thank you. Um, I think that my favorite restaurant is La Calaca, Mexican food. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yes. But not all food is delicious in La Calaca. There are yeah. specific dishes that I like. What are the dishes that you like uh, in La Calaca? Mm, I like uh, los sopes. That's the one. Yes. I yes. love sopes. Delicious. Uh -huh. Small, but pretty delicious. Yes. Yes. Okay. And I think um, eh, la tortuga, que es como la torta. Es bastante uh, bueno. I haven't tasted that. No he probado eso. I'm going to uh, ask. I recommend it. Ah, the turtle. The turtle, yes. that's the name of the dish. Uh -huh. Yes, just correct. It's a oh. Mexican torta. Ah, okay, kind of cur curious the name. All right. Okay, perfect. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, my favorite restaurant is, uh, let's see. Mm, mm, uh, I don't remember the name. I forgot. Okay, I will remember later in, in a few minutes. But I'll tell you. Okay. Food and restaurants is speaking. Ask and answer. Okay, Carlos, make question one. To to Eli, Eli, you answer. Okay, hell, Eli, how much do you like it? Ah, but he doesn't have any preference about restaurant. But remember the dishes that he like, he likes. Remember? Uh, no? my dishes. Correct. Uh -huh. right. Este pasta. Lasagna. Lasagna, okay. The question is, Eli, how much do you like it? How much? Eso es que tanto me gusta. Correct, uh -huh. mm, I like it. Eh, ¿Cómo lo podría decir? Okay, you're going to express your preference. Para expresar preferencia. I love it. That is like a hundred percent. I love it all the time. Every day I eat pasta. Every day. <laughs> I don't think so. But that is one option. I like it a lot. I love it. You can answer in those in, with those options. Con esas opciones. Okay. I like it a lot. You like it a lot. Okay. Uh, but, uh, about... it's, not, uh -huh. it's not every day. You eat it every day? Pasta? Mm -hmm. Yes. Every day pasta. <laughs> too too much carbohydrates. Yeah. <laughs> tortilla included. Tortilla is included there. Yeah. It's included a tortilla. Okay, yeah. but that is tortilla, the rice right. and pasta. <laughs> rice is carb carbohydrate too. Yes. Rice as well. Okay, uh, and you, uh, let's see, uh, Gabriel, welcome. We are talking about uh, food, uh, restaurants that we like. Do you have any favorite restaurant that you go to or food or dish? Well, uh, in my case, uh, my favorite food is uh, a hometown food uh, make at home. Uh, sometimes I I go um, in a, some specific day to visit a, a restaurant like Maurita's restaurant 
is uh, near here where I live, right? Ah, and I, I like to 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 eat uh uh what's it? Uh, seafood is a uh, mariscos, uh -huh. seafood, yeah, right? A mariscada, right? It's included. Seafood soup. Seafood oh, right. soup, correct. Nice seafood soup. Mm -hmm. All right, pretty good. Yeah, if that is delicious. I like it as well. Jonathan, Jonathan Davis. <gasps> Jonathan Davis, but that is corn singer, un cantante de, de rock. Jonathan Davis. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. Uh -huh, Jonathan, and you? Favorite food, restaurants? Uh, uh, can well, you recommend? Uh, I think I have many rest restaurants that I, I like, uh, but uh, I like, for example, the Oye Chico restaurant that is uh, uh, Cubana, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, do you know? Uh, mm -hmm. Cubano, nationality. Guys, do you know? Saben? How to say uh, Cubano or Cuban in English? Pretty easy. Cuban. 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 <laughs> Cuban. Uh, a Cuban, a Cuban restaurant, but also I like to eat pizza. From I always what place? Have a... Oh, from Sorry? what place? From what place? Pizza. Ah, uh, from Pizza Hut. Ah, okay, Pizza. <laughs> my, my favorite is the uh, Chipotle Bomb. Yeah, I was going to say, Iba a decir, my favorite pizza in Pizza Hut is. The chipotle one, like chipotle, yeah. delicious, yes. Okay, pretty good. Okay, we are getting hungry. No bad number, right? Talking about food. Okay. Question number two, two options. Can you read it? Uh, let's see, Ali, can you read option one? Yes. How many times do you visit it? Or how many times do you visit it? All right, do you visit it? Um, for example, my favorite restaurant is is Charrua. Charrua is it's an Argentinian. No, it's a Uruguayan food from Uruguay. Delicious. How many times do I visit it? Mm, I have long time not to visit the place. Long time. And you? How many times do you visit? your favorite restaurant, guys? How many times? Adverse of frequency, remember, in this one, you can answer using an adverse of frequency. How many times do you visit your favorite restaurant? Well, in, in my case, it's once a week, for example, the Pizza Hut. <laughs> you get money for going to Pizza Hut very often. Invite, <laughs> invite me to eat Chipotle Pizza. Okay, nice. Pretty good. In, what is the second? My, uh -huh. Yeah. In my case, I, um, I visit uh, La Calaca once or twice a month. Okay, okay. That is uh, a normal range. Un rango normal. Twice a month. But once a week? Wow. Many times in Pizza Hut. Every week. Cada semana. Nice. Okay. Option two. How often do you visit it? It's similar, similar to option one. Pretty similar. Okay, nice. Uh, in question three, can you read it? What do you order there? What do you, what order? Do you order when you visit yeah. the restaurant? What do you order? Use the verb. You can use the same verb in the question. I order mm -hmm. I order chipotle pizza I order I don't know uh gau the gau gaucho is a dish rabbit I, uh -huh. I order uh, orange chicken orange chicken is Chinese Chinese food ah, it's, it's really good yes 
Okay, pretty good. Nice, nice. Guys, and what about the rest? Lee, William, what do you order in the restaurant that you visit? What type of food you can find? Depends. Sometimes I order pizza and parrillada. Parrillada, right? Parrillada. When yeah, I guess that it's in the same meaning. Parrillada. Parrilla. Or barbecue, I guess. Might be, puede ser. Okay, pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. I, well, in, uh, oye chico, I used to order a super Cuban sandwich. Oh, all right, the super Cuban sandwich. That sounds delicious. Okay, good. But remember, this is simple present. You can use I order, I order this, this, and this. But I used to, that is for simple past. So it's not pretty correct. No es tan correcto usar I used to. ¿Por qué no? Why not? What is the meaning of that? ¿Qué significa I used to? Yo suelo. Yo, suelo, yo lo solía. Okay. Ah, okay. This is simple past. Check. I used to order. Solía. Ordenar. Ordenar. But that is in simple past. Mm, en lugar de I used to, what can you use? ¿Qué puede usar? En lugar de I used to. Adverbs. Adverbs. I normally. Order. Order. Puede usar. I normally order others of frequency or always or sometimes. Correct. Correct. I sometimes order this, this, and this. Why? I usually. Correct. That's another one. You can use that one as well. También. I usually order this, this, and this, okay? Because you are talking in the simple present. And this structure is for the simple past. Not correct. Better adverse frequency. Teacher, um, hmm? and if I instead use used in past, I only use use in present, uh, it, it can be possible or or it's not possible. Uh, okay, make the sentence and I will type it. Make it, make the sentence with is. Give me no, the, the, huh? the, the same The same example that you use, but oh. without the, the only is in present. Uh, well. um, this one in present. Yeah. I used to order. Mm, let's check. I used to order. Mm, mm, mm. It doesn't look like correct. No parece. Correct. I use. Check. Word is giving you a correction. Ah, it's telling you to use it in the past. Le está diciendo. Okay. Lo usen past. Uh, okay, but... I guess this is not the correct one. Okay, no. In, the, in this case, no. Okay. Pero puede decir, ah, estoy acostumbrado a pedir esto, esto y esto. You mean? Ah, yeah. in that case, changes. Ahí sí cambia. Ajá. Uh -huh. I. I am. Used. To order chicken, for example. Chicken. Is that correct, guys? Is this sentence correct? In your opinion? Mm. I don't know. Okay, let me tell you. It's yeah. correct. It's correct. 
What is the meaning of this? Significado de esto. ¿Caerías? Solo. Uh, Solo. Okay. Solo. Okay. Better, mejor. Estoy, I am. Remember, verb to be. Cero estar. Okay. Ajá. Cuando va el verbo to be con esta estructura, with this structure, that means, significa estoy acostumbrado a hacer algo. I am used to order chicken. In this case, is correct. En esta sí. All right? Even with, uh, with simple. Simple past. Aunque parece un simple past, but verb to be is in present. Pero Just. no se está refiriendo a simple past. Se está refiriendo a que está acostumbrado a hacer algo. That is yeah. like a facial verb that's that's just to phrase over not um, do you mean that if you can use any phrase over instead of this in lugar de esto phrase over no my 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 question is is when we use um that um just to is like a phrase over because we are a little bit confused with the uh -huh. Where okay. to be in our uh, bear in the simple past. All right. This is not a phrasal verb. Okay. No. This is not a phrasal verb. This is an structure that you normally use in the simple past. All right. This is for simple past. Okay. But in this case, because you are using the verb to be, it means like a situation that you repeat i am used to i am used to listen to music every day what did i say ¿Qué dije ahí? Estoy acostumbrado a escuchar música todos los días. yeah i do i do that yo, yo sí hago eso. what are you used to guys what are you used to check the question what are you used to what are you used to where to be in the question answer um i'm used to what i am used to watch tv to every watch tv ah okay watch tv watch at TV. at night for example yeah. Okay, someone else, alguien más? What are you used to? What do you do every day? Another question. Okay, one more example to make it clear, para que quede claro. One more, what are you used to? I am used to take a shower every day. Uh -huh. Better, <laughs> better you, you, you do it. Great, you do it. Okay, I'm used to. Take a shower. And complement, complemento with the hot water. With hot water. Nice. Ah, okay. Nice. Very good. Okay. Clear on that? Claro? How to use used to, but with verb to be. Ahora sí. Yes, it's clear. clear. Yeah. Okay. You can use this structure, but with the verb to be, pero con el verbo to be. Sin el verbo to be, no. Okay, good. Let's go to the next part. All right, next part. For in restaurants, uh, can you read this indication, Joel, please? Okay. Uh, food in a restaurant. With the need lights, you will have more information about food. A restaurant vocabulary that can be, be very, very useful. 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 Correct. Okay. Uh, guys, these links you will have a specific vocabulary when talking uh, in conversations about food, about restaurants, 
we are not gonna check them because we have a different activity. I'm just gonna show you that you can learn a lot of things with this vocabulary check. Ah, in this case, this is a phrasal verb. Check. Phrasal verb, it out. Eat out. Uh, cafeteria. And vocabulary. Cafe. 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 Next. Normal. Restaurant. Normal word. Fast food. Fast, Fast food. food. Vegetarian. Are you vegetarian, vegetarian, guys? Are you vegetarian? Are you? <laughs> yes or no? Sometimes. No. <laughs> ah, sometimes. I like the meat. I like meat as well. Very good. Next vocabulary. High class. High class. High class. High class, high class restaurant. restaurant. Do you know any high class? High class, class restaurant. Uh, the class alta. Algo así, bueno. uh -huh. High class restaurant. Top. Expensive restaurants. In other words, high class. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty good. This word. Please. What's Please. this? What's, what's this word? What is the meaning? Gastronomy, cuisine. Let's, uh, let's use the dictionary. Cuisine. Okay, I know, but I want to show you. Check grammar, pronunciation. Cuisine. Ah. Cuisine. Q, Q, cuisine. 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 Okay, what is cuisine? Un estilo de comida de cocina. A style of cooking. A style of cooking. French cuisine, Salvadorian cuisine, delicious. Oh. Uh -huh. A style, solo un estilo. Um, let's see what else. No more. Cuisine. Check the same. Okay, so you can check. A lot of vocabulary about this. Make a booking. Make a booking. What is make a booking? That means? Make a reservation in a restaurant. Correct. Maitre. Maitre. What is this? Maitre in English. I know in French. Maitre. No, I don't know. No idea, but this is a French word, I guess. Creo. Okay. Check. Waiter. Waiters. Waitress. Menus. Etc. Etc. Ah, French. A la carte. A la carte. Mm -hmm. Okay. Many French words are used in English. Like this one. Set menu. Set menu. menu. Uh, ah, this one. What is this? Aperitivos. Appetites. Yeah. Correct. French word. I don't oh. know. We we need to read to understand. Ah, your favorite food. Um pasta. Check. Pasta. Correct. Yeah. In French word again, otra French, etc., etc., etc. Okay, check guys, you can have a lot of vocabulary on the second link as well. Okay, let's go and do this activity. Let's open it. Topic. Special restaurant. A special restaurant. Let's check. Look at this dish. Is this a low class dish or a high class restaurant dish? High class, high class restaurant. restaurant. Obviously. Look at the decoration on the dish. Look at the ingredients, the composition of the ingredients on the on the plate. It's a high class. A restaurant, mm, but what is el, el porta cubiertos? Una Game Boy. 
Ah, but in a high class restaurant, you wouldn't see a Game Boy for for this, for the fork and the knife. Kind of curious why they used it. Curioso como lo usan. A Game Boy, what is the relation with a Game Boy and the dish? We don't know. Okay. Uh, please to help me with the indication, please. Uh, Jonathan. Okay. Listen to Joe talking about a very special restaurant she visited. She visited recently. Do the preparation task first, then listen to the audio and do the exercises. All right. In this word, we pronounce it audio. Audio. Okay. Audio. 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 Audio, no, right? <laughs> audio. Like audio. No, audio. Audio like, like the like cookie. <laughs> audio. Uh, kind audio. of similar, yes. <laughs> audio. 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 Like that. Audio. 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 Yes. If you want to check the phonetics, if you revisar la real phonetic, the dictionary. Check. Audio. 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 Repeat it, please. Audio. 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 This is letter Audio. A. Parece A, but it's not letter A. It's like similar to a no. Audio. 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 Similar to a no. Como o. Audio. Yes. Audio. Audio. That's it? Así es. Okay. Then listen to the audio, to the audio, and do the exercises. Okay, preparation. Indication, match. Match the words. Match the words with the definitions. Okay. Eli, definition one. Well, to arrange to eat in a restaurant at a particular time. Okay. This is the definition. What is the word for this definition? Mm -hmm. Arrange is a synonym to organize. Mm -hmm. Or to book or a schedule. Those are synonyms. Mm. Guys, can you give uh, some book help? a table? Ah, okay. Uh huh. This one, pretty good. Okay, Gabriel. Next definition. A uh, period of time when the weather is much hotter than the down usual. Okay. Mm. Which one do you think that's the word? A heat wave. Ah, okay, a heat wave. That's it. A leap. To put on formal clothes for a special occasion. Ah, all right. To get dressed up. To dress, to get Okay, to get dressed up. That's right. What about this one? William? The crowd of people who work in a particular place. The group of people who work in a particular place. The staff. The staff. Uh -huh, correct. Next. A small green or black fruit that is often used to make oil. All right. Pronunciation, no I, no letter I in pronunciation. So? Fruit. 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 All right. Fruit. No letter I in pronunciation. Next. What's uh, the word? Olive. An olive. An, an olive. olive, an olive. 
Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Next. Something. Something, something that you that do that you do, which is very special, as you will probably only do it once. Okay. What's that? A once in a lifetime experience. Ah, okay. A once in a lifetime experience, like a concert, for example. That is once in a lifetime. Correct. Next. Food. Food prepared in a particular way as part of the meal. Food prepared in a particular way as part of your meal. Mm -hmm. A dish. A dish. Dish, dish. And a finally. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I, I hear before in uh, watching TV that, uh, for example, that sentence, oh, uh, well, uh, a dish. Uh, some people mention it like a dish. Okay, so, some uh, people mention it as like a dish instead of a dish. Ah, uh, you mean like pronunciation a dish? Yeah. Mm, that's curious. Uh, where is the program from? Is it American or from another part? Mm, I don't remember where it was. That's the thing. Maybe yeah. it's not American because American people just to say a, a dish. But if in that program people use a dish, maybe they are not American or British, maybe the program is from somewhere else. English has many accents, many accents, African, Chinese, etc. Maybe it's from another part that is most likely. It's probably, right? But it might be that. Puede que sea eso. Uh, accent. El acento. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Investigate where is the program is from. And finally, Soft. Soft. Thick. Hair. 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 Like hair, for example. Hair name is Bill. Oh. Hair that grow on sheep and other animals. Animals. Like e. Animals. 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 Yes, grammar is with the letter A, but pronunciation is in it. Okay, so thick hair that grows on deep sheep and other animals. And the word is wool. Wool, wool, wool. Uh huh. Let's check. Uh, just let me place it. Finish. Correct. That's it. No problems with the vocabulary. Okay. Guys, attention. In this part, we are going to listen this recording. Once, only listening, and the second time with the transcripts. Attention, please. This recording is from the British Council. Hi Jo. Hello. Um, thank you for talking to me today. What would you like to talk about? So I'm going to tell you about my recent visit to um, a very well-known restaurant and very special restaurant. Okay, um, great. It's called Al Sayada Can Roca and it's in Girona in Spain and um, it's it often comes in the like top two or three restaurants wow. in the world and um, I went last week and well the first thing that was exciting for us was to even get a table because um, 
we booked a year ago and we had to go you have to go because you can book a year in advance so you have to go online at one minute to midnight um a year before you think you could go um and keep refreshing refreshing the page until places become available and just go immediately and get the table so we were really excited to have the table um, and we were kind of nervous on Friday because we waited a whole year so expectations were really high um, and it was also by chance boiling hot in Girona and it was in the middle of a heat wave it was 44 degrees oh my goodness so we were just waiting in our hotel room we couldn't go outside because it was too hot um, kind of wondering what this this dinner was going to be like um, and get, getting all dressed up so uh, yeah, we went and the well the place is beautiful. All I thought it would be quite. Um, it, it didn't really feel formal though. The staff were all really friendly, and they, they showed us like the kitchen first. And it's it's amazing because no one is stressed in the kitchen, or they did a good job of pretending that they they weren't. Um, and they were making amazing things. It looked like um, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory for adults. <laughs> All these little olive trees with amazing, like um, uh, olive kind of confections hanging from them. And yeah, the whole thing was amazing. A, a once in the lifetime experience of lots of different courses of tiny, beautiful, surprising things. Um, what was the best dish? Well, it was well, it was all it was all amazing, but I think the the best thing for me was um, uh, one of the desserts. I had a a, a sheep themed pudding. Wow! <laughs> so it was all um, so it was like a woolly sheep. It was like <laughs> candy floss, like made with. Um, like sort of white sugar like you have at the fair um, and that was supposed to represent the wool and the sound of the spoon on the bowl made the sound of um, the, the, the bell on the sheep in the field and then separately I had this thing to smell that smelt of wool so I was like eating this sheep wool and smelling the smell of, of wool at the same time which it sounds really weird but it was actually delicious. Sounds incredible. <laughs> it, really was, it really was amazing. Wow, thank you for telling us about it. It's a pleasure. All right. Let's see one more time. Let's listen the audio with the transcript. That is kind of a little bit easier. Reading and listening. Uh, just let me go back. There is the audio and the transcript is in this part. Okay. This recording is from the British Council. Hi, Joe. Hello. Um, thank you for talking to me today. What would you like to talk about? So I'm going to tell you about my recent visit to um, a very well-known restaurant and a very special restaurant. Okay, um, great. It's called Alcea de Can Roca and it's in Girona in Spain and um, it's it often comes in the like top two or three restaurants wow. in the world and um, I went last week and well the first thing that was exciting for us was to even get a table because um, we booked a year ago and we had to go you have to go because you can book a year in advance so you have to go online at one minute to midnight um, a year before you think you could go um, and keep refreshing refreshing the page until places become available and just go immediately and get the table so we were really excited to have the table um, and we were kind of nervous on Friday because we waited a whole year so expectations were really high um, and it was also by chance boiling hot in Girona and it was in the middle of a heat wave it was 44 degrees oh my goodness. so we were just waiting in our hotel room we couldn't go outside because it was too hot um, kind of wondering what this, this dinner was going to be like um, and get, getting all dressed up 
So, uh, yeah, we went and the, well, the place is beautiful. All I thought it would be quite, um, it, it didn't really feel formal, though the staff were all really friendly and they, they showed us like the kitchen first. And it's, it's amazing because no one is stressed in the kitchen or they did a good job of pretending that they, they weren't. Um, and they were making amazing things. It looked like um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for adults. <laughs> All these little olive trees with amazing like um, uh, olive kind of confections hanging from them. And yeah, the whole thing was amazing. A, a once in the lifetime experience of lots of different courses of tiny, beautiful, surprising things. Um, what was the best dish? Well, it was had? it was all it was all amazing, but I think the the best thing for me was um, uh, one of the desserts. I had a a, a sheep themed pudding. Wow! <laughs> so it was all um, so it was like a woolly sheep. It was like <laughs> candy floss, like made with. Um, like sort of white sugar like you have at the fair um, and that was supposed to represent the wool and the sound of the spoon on the bowl made the sound of um, the, the bell on the sheep in the field and then separately I had this thing to smell that smelt of wool so I was like eating this sheep wool and smelling the smell of, of wool at the same time which it sounds really weird but it was actually delicious. Sounds incredible. <laughs> it, really was, it really was amazing. Wow, thank you for telling us about it. It's a pleasure. Okay. Number two, let's do task one. Uh, Ellie, indication, please. Put the items in the order, Joe, Fox about them oh it sounds kind of challenging you have to use the memory okay but they are a few only some focus okay number one first activity that joe did or that joe said Ideas. Uh, I remember getting ready to go to the restaurant. Oh, okay, getting ready to go to the restaurant. Okay, that sounds like the first one, correct? Second, well, I think is looking the table online. Ah, you're right because if you don't book, you cannot go to the restaurant. They are gonna ask you, do you have any restaurant, any booking? Do we have any reservation? Aha, good, good. So, booking the table online is number one. Number two? You said, uh, someone said. Yeah, getting ready to. Uh -huh. Okay, three. The amazing dishes that he will be in prepared. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, the amazing dishes that she saw being pre prepared. All right, all right. Next, after cooking the food, We are going in this part. They are the left. Can tres. Next. Just idea, guys. If it's okay if you don't hit it, if you don't guess, you know what I mean. Okay, next. No, I don't no. remember. Ah, okay. Maybe the stuff in the kitchen. We don't know. Okay. 
So if you want to do this task, you need to listen and read one more time the, the exercise, but you can do it at home, no problem. Let's check in the order that you selected the first ones. Let's check. Oh, okay. So the half, the half of them, 50%. This is correct. Not, not, yes, the one that I selected. This one, no. And the last one, yes. Okay, but you can redo it, no problem. Let's see task number two. Complete the sentence. The sentences. William, number one. You have to the table of the restaurant. A uh, book? You said book? You have to a book. To book. To book the table. Yeah. Book the table. Okay. Uh, a year. In advance. Ah, okay. A year in advance. All right. Number two, Gabriel. The weather was very hot. There was a um, heat wave. Uh huh. That's it. Let's see, Carlos. Carlos, Carlos. Hey, what happened to Carlos? Joel. Number three. Joel. Joel in English. But this is Joe, only Joe. 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 Before she went the restaurant. Uh -huh. What is the compliment? The compliment mm -hmm. word to complete the sentence. Mm -hmm. Guys, give some help if you Stop. if you know. Stop dress up. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, all right. For William, the the, the were really friendly, and they did send. Sim, sorry, sim, sim. 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 They sim. did sim. The the staff, the staff, the staff. Uh -huh, the staff were really friendly, and they didn't. In... Ah, stressed, stressed. Que ellos no se ven estresados, no. And they didn't seem. Ah, uh, what? What the word? What's the word? Stressed. Ah, it's stressed. 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 It is stressed with T. Pronunciation okay. at the end is with stressed. T. It's stressed. Correct. Five. The kitchen staff were making amazing things with a little, with little, and the, with little. Olive. 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 Ah, olive. He's talking about olive. Three. 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 That's right. Uh, six. For Joe, the best dish, the best dish. Was one of of the desert. I eat dish. Desserts. Dish. Desserts. 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 Because desert is, for example, uh, uh, the desert in Arabia. Okay. Desert. No, el desierto no. Is that desert. desert? Yes. What is dessert? Dessert is a tiramisu. Is a dessert. Uh Cheese cheesecake is another dessert. Postres. Correct. Oh, okay. But desert, no. The desert is yeah. what you see in Arabia, in uh, I don't know, in or, the U.S. Arizona. In the, the, the Arizona desert, correct. That's it. Joe's dessert look look looks like. like Huh? Like uh, 
Uh, wool. A chip. Look like. Uh, what is chip? Bed. Bed. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Chip. No, wool. 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 Yeah. Okay. Finally. It has sometimes to smell that smell like a chip. No. Ah, it's wool. Wool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correct. Wool sheep is is in this place in and wool. wool goes to this place. Okay, let's check them. Ah, oh. pretty nice. In this exercise, it complete a hundred percent. Pretty good. Okay, try with this, try with the number one as a practice so you can do it. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for being in class. That was it, no more content to, to study. See you tomorrow on the last class for the week. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, Good, 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye, see you.